What's up guys, my name is Andres Garcia and today we're going to be talking about how to enjoy or at least tolerate online school. Let's go! Alright, so learning online can be tough, not only from an education standpoint, but also just trying to stay focused. It used to be where you went to an actual class and you were sit down and you were forced to learn. Now it's like you just watch these videos for your classes, like whenever the f it requires a little bit more self-discipline, but today we're gonna talk about how we could learn to enjoy this process at least a little bit more. All right, so tip number one is start your day off right. So many people, including myself, don't start our days out on the right foot. Before you check any emails, homework, class assignments, whatever, breathe. Be thankful for the day. Get a glass of water, sit down, think of all the things that you're thankful for. Clear your mind of any negative thoughts and just enjoy that moment. And just be thankful that you were able to wake up and breathe for another day. That's a gift that we take for granted way too often. Start every day by centering yourself first. I guarantee that this would reduce anxiety and any lack of motivation throughout the day. All right, tip number two, watch easy to understand big picture YouTube videos before getting into the details. All right, so I find that this can apply to any class, but specifically if you're like a STEM major and you need to understand DNA polymerization and Markovnikov hydration or whatever other nerdy shit that we need to know that we probably will never use in our careers. Personally, I like using resources such as the Amoeba Sisters, Crash Course, Professor Dave, Bozeman Science, and the Organic Chemistry Tutor. There's tons of other people who go over the same material as they do, but I find that their videos are like the funnest to watch and easiest to get through. It makes learning feel like what you're doing right now, just watching a YouTube video. It's a good foot in the door, and it'll build you some momentum to actually learn the details of what you need to know. A Netflix show is so much more interesting when you actually know who the characters are, right? This is the same approach with this step. Watching a big picture video as to what your topic pertains to can help you at least understand a little bit as to what's happening. It'll help you know the characters and it'll build the foundation of what you need to know. All right, number three is play good study music. All right, so for me personally, I can't really study to like actual music. I personally don't learn the best when I'm listening to Thugga, Gunna, Baby, all the slats. Their music is slimy as shit, but it's kind of tough to study to. So I personally like listening to like lo-fi beats, instrumentals, basically anything that doesn't have like lyrics in it. I find that that's when I tend to get distracted. I have a great study playlist that I have on Spotify. I'll put it in the link in the description and uh, you guys can check it out there. Let me know what you think. All right, tip number four is time your studying. So this really helps by giving yourself an end goal. Oftentimes, that's what makes learning online such a is not knowing how long you need to sit down and just grind for. But if you tell yourself, I'm just gonna take 45 minutes and just grind this out. I'm gonna set a timer and I'm just going to sit down, not focus on anything else except for this one thing. 45 minutes, that's it. Set the timer, put your phone out of your reach and just get yourself in front of the material. You find that once you actually get started, it's honestly not that bad. Instead of looking at the top of the mountain and getting discouraged, focus on the process and take it as it comes. All right, tip number five, make a study group. Studying with a partner definitely makes it easier getting through tough material. I recommend no more than one to two study partners because the more people who show up, the more it becomes like a social thing and less about actually studying. But I recommend that you at least get an idea as to what the topic is that you're learning first before you even attempt to study with another person. Because learning is like building a house. First you need to lay down a foundation, then we build upwards, and the house slowly but surely comes together. But the point of having a study partner is more to build up upwards and actually build on each other's material. And if you're both lost, it's like the blind leading the blind and both of you guys get nowhere. You'll probably both get distracted because there is no foundation that's being laid down. So study by yourself initially to at least get a feel as to what the topic is pertaining to. Learning by yourself sets the foundation for learning with someone else. And a way to minimize distractions is to tell your study partner to stick with the study timer. This goes back to our previous point. This enforces accountability for both you and your study partner. If you don't feel comfortable meeting with someone in person, you can always use Zoom or FaceTime and there's also various websites online that allow you to study with someone online. All right, number six is reward yourself. After an intense mental grind, it's important to reward yourself, but this could also be a double-edged sword as well. So rewarding yourself should be the result of a solid study session, but it should not be the motivation. It's totally fine to reward yourself by eating tons of ice cream after you finish a pretty good study session. But if you find that you're more focused on the end reward as opposed to actually getting through and understanding the material, then you're not going to really be doing yourself any good because you're not really retaining the information that you're studying for. But like I said, definitely reward yourself. Just 
Don't let it be the motivation. All right, number seven, study outside if the weather and Wi-Fi permits. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but I honestly don't find being at a desk all the time is like the funnest thing. Sometimes I just need to get outside. If you need to sit through a two hour Zoom meeting, I find that it's so much more enjoyable when you could experience having a Zoom class outside. So yeah, studying outside is nice. Just make sure it doesn't rain because that would suck. Tip number eight is keep a warm or ice cold drink next to you. Keeping your favorite drink right next to you while you're sitting is a great way to keep you at your desk and keep you grinded. Dress up nice or relaxed. Just make sure to take a shower and feel ready and awake. A ready body is a ready mind. So drink your coffee in the morning if you drink coffee. And if you really don't want to take a shower, just splash your face with some water, something to make you feel awake. Because once you're up, you're up. All right, number 10 is create a proper workspace. All right, so it's way easier to stay at a desk and grind on some homework if you have a nice environment keeping you there, an environment that promotes productivity and efficiency. I personally prefer like a simple desk as it kind of declutters unnecessary things. For example, this is my workspace. Simple, but allows me to think. If you have hella stuff on your desk, it just becomes more in your mind when you're studying. And if you're studying in your room, just trying to like clean up your room a bit, whether that's making up your bed and just kind of straighten up things on your desk, it's amazing what a clean room does to clear your mind. All right, number 11, set goals for the day and cross them off once you're done. Anyone who's been watching my videos knows that I love to do this. To-do lists keep you organized and oriented throughout the day. It gives you positive feedback when you can look back and actually scratch off the things that you said you were going to get done. The actual actions of your to-do list may suck, but nothing feels better than crossing them off once you got over that challenge. All right, and finally, number 12 is find the fascinating part about what you're learning. Why is it that we could watch conspiracy theories on YouTube for five hours and that not feel like work at all. But looking at biology for 20 minutes somehow drains the energy out of us for the rest of the day. It's not that you're actually losing energy, it's just that you need to find interest in what you're learning. And the way that I like to look at this is by realizing that this was once knowledge that no one knew. And after decades of research or whatever, I'm finally able to see the final product of what's happening. Now you may be asking, how do I find interest in a class that I'm being forced to take? I understand truly, honestly, but even if you can't find interest in what you're learning, at least view it as a challenge that you have to overcome. Try and be competitive with it by trying to understand this material as fast as you can. To work hard to understand this material so you can ace that next exam. Maybe not because you need to, but because can. The truth is, your professor isn't going to force you to do anything, and you can't just expect watching a video like this to make a change. I can only give you the tools, but it's up to you to implement them. Studying really can be boring sometimes, but let's try and not forget why we're pursuing this in the first place. For a better future, for more opportunities, once we realize that, it becomes tolerable. Just like anything else, the more you practice, the easier it becomes. So just get started and be patient with yourself. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my video, and if you guys can please hit that like button, it really helps out my channel. I truly do appreciate it and if you can please subscribe for more content every single week love you guys thank you guys for watching and peace